Since I've owned the Canon Pro 100, it's been a battle to get the colors right. And I think I've finally figured out how to make it work as it should. My name is Jared Decker. I'm a photographer and a printer, and I've had problems with the Canon Pro 100 and its colors since the day I got it. I ended up finding a way to make it acceptable letting the printer manage the colors and not the editing software I was using. But I really just wanted a proper fix using the ICC profiles that I have installed on my computer that match my media to get the colors that I want. So I tried different papers, I tried different profiles, I talked to paper manufacturers, I talked to Canon, and all anyone was able to tell me was is that for some reason on a Mac, it would double profile. So that means that the printer is managing the colors at the same time that my editing software is managing the colors and it just throws them all way off. Which is why I would just let the printer manage the colors to get a pretty close uh, representation of what, I was, of what I was trying to print. So recently when I talked to Canon support, they told me to use AirPrint. And that would just take the Canon driver out of the mix, let Apple control it, and I swear it worked the first time, but for some reason, it just started having the same problem. And on top of that, that driver has far fewer options than the Canon driver, so just it wasn't a, a good solution. So I kept messing around. I mean, th these printers have so many options, and there's so many settings everywhere to try to figure out that I, I just kept trying them. And I think I eventually figured out the one that works. I've been going for about a week now with this thing working properly through Lightroom and through Photoshop. So you need to install it using the Canon IJ tool. So when you install a printer on a Mac, it gives you several options on how you can do it. And on top of that, after you install it, it's hard sometimes to figure out in your editing software which printer you're actually using because when you install them, each of these different methods basically install separate printers and it makes it really confusing. And I think for years I was just selecting the wrong one or you know, neither of them were installed right, it just, it just wasn't working. And now that I print a lot and know a lot about the system, I can, I've had, it's been easier for me to go in and figure out what actually is, is going on and what settings need to be made. And they don't really explain this in a simple way for people that are you know, just buying this printer that don't know a lot about printing as I was when I bought this printer. I mean, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was used to printing spreadsheets and, and you know, simple stuff like that. I was used to taking photos, but not printing them. And printing photos is a whole nother world than, than taking them. And it's not necessarily that easy. So I'm gonna go in today and show you how to install this printer um, using the IJ connection and setting it up. So when you're printing from Lightroom or Photoshop, you can make sure you're using the right printer and all your settings are correct. So this is a video where I'm begging you for your feedback. Um, my previous video got a lot of views, so I know a lot of people are having this problem and I'm hoping that they all see this. And if you see this and you try this and it does not work, I really want to know about it. And if it does work, I also really want to know about it. So please uh, give, me, give me some feedback in the comments and, and let me know if this works for you. All right, so let's get into installing the printer. All right, so here we are on my Mac. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the printer. So go up to your Apple, System Preferences, Printers and Scanners. All right, so these are my other printers I have. I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign. Now this window shows you all the printers that are available on your network. So I previously added my Pro 100 to my network, so it is set up for Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not gonna go through that on this video, so if you need to do that, just go to your manual and it's pretty easy to get, get that done. So what I like to do first is always plug it in and install the USB version first. So. Now, this is a pretty important step. I'm gonna label this USB because as I said, when you're printing from Photoshop or Lightroom <clears throat> within your driver, you get to pick several printers and 
because there's different ways to install the Pro 100, it's not real clear on which one you're actually selecting. So I like to put the name or put the, the connection style in the title. Um, so go ahead and click add. All right, so there's our USB. Now I'm gonna do it again for using Wi-Fi. If I'm ever plugged in, I will always use the USB connection. It's way faster and it's just makes me feel better about everything. But um, in some situations, your printer is not able to be right next to your computer. So you can use the Wi-Fi feature. So next, go over and Canon IJ network. This bonjour, never install that. Never install it. This was the root of most of, if not all of my problems with using this printer over the years and getting my colors right. So Canon IJ network. Now this one, I'm going to label Canon Pro 100 IJ. For where it says use, this is where you can pick different drivers to use, but go ahead and just use the Canon Pro 100. This is assuming you have already installed the Canon Pro 100 drivers on your computer from Canon's website. And I can put a link to that in the description. Okay, so now the IJ is here. So now we're gonna go ahead and open Photoshop and let's print an image. So I'm just gonna print a four by six of this um, to save paper and ink. So I generally hit Option Command I, resize to four by six, uh, keep it, I'll just leave it at 240 pixels per inch. Lower this a little bit, because this is a pretty high quality image. Click OK. All right, so here's our image at four by six. Now to print, Command P. Okay, select your printer. This, I was using my Pro 4000, so now we are going to use Canon Pro 100 IJ. All right, printer manages colors, no. Photoshop manages colors. And in here, you need to select your, your uh, ICC profile for the paper you're using. I'm using Red River. Ultra Pro Satin 4.0. Uh, I use Perceptual when I'm printing photos. Black point compensation I usually leave on. Um, now you need to click your print settings. All right, so paper size. We go up to stock 4x6 borderless. Just to make sure that we are where we need to be, we're gonna click color matching. This is correct. Color sync means that Photoshop is managing your colors and Canon is, or the printer is not. That's why that's grayed out. So quality and media. So I checked with Red River and the media type they recommend using is Photo Paper Plus Glossy 2 for this particular paper. So I want my stand, print quality on high, rear tray, and that's it. So we're gonna click save. Now this looks funny because it's in the wrong orientation. Click that, puts it right. All right, now let's click print. All right, well, I really hope this was helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope it works. It's been a long battle and I think we finally won. So good luck and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.